Good morning, and welcome back to Log Cabin Firewood. So my name is Jack, and today we are finally going to get to splitting these rounds that I've had stacked up in the dump trailer for two weeks now. Stick around. So my name is Jack, and today we are finally going to get to these rounds that I've had stacked up in the trailer for two weeks now. Welcome back for everybody that's been hanging out with me. And if you're new here, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know that you're new so we can give you a nice warm welcome to the channel because we appreciate everyone coming and hanging out with me. We do have some help coming today. Uh, they're getting ready. They're going to come out and help. They don't even have to come over. They just have to come out. This is going to be a big day for the channel. So hopefully everybody gives uh, my uh, special guest a nice warm welcome. All right, so I do have a very special helping hand today, Miss Taryn. Everybody give her a warm welcome to the channel. I actually got her outside and she's going to give me a hand today. Hey everyone. So uh, firewood at home. These are the last couple logs that Jack loaded up in a previous video. We're going to check the moisture on these babies. Uh, since you were curious to see what that was. And we're also going to get Taryn to move the truck and trailer. We'll I'm gonna, see how that goes. <laughs> and I'm going to have her back it up so we can do a big dump. Here we go. And when you're pulling these big loads, easy on the gas and easy on the brake. And you need to be watching both mirrors. So you need to steer it to the left to touch. Straighten it back up now. To the left to touch. Straighten it back up. Now go back, now go to the right a little bit just to see how it's kicking out to the right. Keep, keep steering to the right a touch. Straighten it back up now. Steer to the right. Steer to the right. Because you're coming up on your car. Keep going to the right, keep going to the right. Now straighten it back up easy. Steer to the left. Stop for a sec. How are you looking in that lower mirror? Is your tire gonna clear the cookies? Uh -huh. I can't see from here, okay. You've got plenty of room by your car. So now cut it to where to get the trailer going that way. So cut it left? You need to go right to get it. But So now counter steer it again, go back left or the other way to get your thing straight. Okay, hold that. Are you all right with that or do you want to get it closer to where no, we're working? That's good. For the first time backing up a trailer ever in a big truck, I think she did great. Make sure you let her know in the comments how good she did. So as mentioned, firewood at home. Uh, we're gonna pull a couple of these off here up top because this is the last stuff that we loaded into the trailer. Last stuff I loaded into the trailer a couple weeks ago. It has sat in the shade. So it's not gonna be like an exact reading as I just pulled it out of the woods. I'm sorry for that, I went on vacation. I'm still working every day, <laughs> like my real job. But uh, I'll set a couple of these right on the splitter right now and then we'll get this uh, dumped on the ground and start splitting some stuff. All right, so I took uh, two pieces from the top and one piece from the side. We're just gonna do three pieces of this stuff that I think was petrified. It might be, it might not be. Uh, I'm hoping for the best, but here we go. We'll get Taryn to make this dump and we'll start splitting. <laughs> going
So we got a lot of firsts today. Taryn's first time helping me out. Her first time backing the trailer. Her first time dumping the trailer. And now we're gonna get her set up underneath the conveyor. But uh, this is a pretty good size load here. I'm, I'm surprised it looks bigger on the ground. So we've got these three rounds here set up. We're gonna split first. Uh, then we'll have Miss Taryn do some uh, moisture readings on them. I do have a feeling that this wood is going to be a higher moisture content than what I originally anticipated. Uh, Firewood at Home called me out on that one. I think you're right, but let's see. Raise this up. Raise the wedge up. Other way. Other way. Keep going. Fire that. So here's a couple pieces that we split off those first ones. I just kind of uh, split a few pieces out of them and set a few up here. But if you want to go ahead and check it, Taryn, let me know what All you right. got. <laughs> Can't get it in the wood. Uh, we've got 33. 33. 36. So firewood at home, you win, my friends. I was wrong. I think I said 16 or 18 percent. Uh, so you are absolutely correct. Everything here is probably going to be in the 30s and higher. Uh, like I said in that video, though, I will stack and cover this properly and let it season. Um, most of what I'm stacking right now will be 2024 heat for myself. And if whatever's extra, uh, we'll get out to whoever needs it. But we are actually going to get something started now and start splitting up on this uh, nice load of oak. Like I said, over there in the woods, some of this has some punk on it, but we will split around the edges of these pieces uh, and we'll get it thrown into my fire pit. Here we go, though. We're going to set you up on some time lapse and you can watch us sweat. Ain't that right, baby? That's right. <laughs> back this is day number two we didn't get through a lot of this uh, we, we got through a good bit of it but uh yesterday I worked the night before and came home it took like an hour and a half nap and then decided to come out here and get this started and I think a mixture of no sleep the heat and maybe being a little bit dehydrated I got sick yesterday like all of a sudden I was like I'm done. I don't know about you, but I'm done. But uh, we went and got something to eat and I got some fluids in me and I went to bed super early. But we did get a pretty good bit split yesterday into the trailer. Uh, there's probably uh, close to a face cord there, a third of a cord. But I know I am going to start splitting.
Uh, Taryn quite possibly could come out and help, but it's in the mid 90s today. Um, here in Maryland, we are supposed to get some crazy storms later on this afternoon, uh, probably within the next hour. Uh, they're saying anywhere from 40 to 70 mile an hour winds. We'll see what happens though. I'm gonna get started, get this thing fired up and start splitting if she comes out. Awesome. I always uh, appreciate a helping hand. But if not, we'll see what I can get done.
Well, that was an hour and 20 minutes worth of splitting. Miss T and I, the trailer is about two thirds of the way full. We still have a good bit here left. I don't think I'm gonna get all this in here split, but that's fine. Uh, we may even tomorrow drag this over and start stacking this and then save this to fill the trailer up again. But my lady is hungry. Yeah. <laughs> Ready to eat. So, what do you think this oak smells like? I think it smells like ketchup. When it's wet, it smells like ketchup. <laughs> you know, I've never thought of that myself, but I, I really do think that the red oak does definitely smell like ketchup. Oak has its own distinct smell for sure, but ketchup is probably a good I don't know. It's like the best thing I could ever think of. Taryn had a couple girlfriends over here, I guess two weeks ago. And when I first split this trailer or when I cut it up and it was sitting in the yard and they were over there and what, what did the other girl say it smelled like? Uh, Elmer's glue. Yeah. The one girl said it smelled like Elmer's glue. And then Taryn was like, Oh no, I think it smells like ketchup. And she kept wondering what it was because they, you know, Taryn sits on the deck and plays with the dogs. But yeah, I thought that was pretty funny. But I think that's going to wrap it up for today. Uh, we are going to go get this stacked up. It'll probably be the start of the next video. But I definitely appreciate everybody hanging out and checking us out. And definitely give Taryn a warm welcome to the <laughs> channel. It was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. But I think I did good. I think she I did, did pretty good. I think she did great. Well, we will see you next week. Saturday, 6.30 a.m. Bye, everyone. Have a great week and a great rest of the weekend.